All right, fam, you already know the weather's changing. We're about to do some barf diet for our pups. Let's make it happen. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is putting the chicken through the grinder. I mean, quite literally, this process right here when you have a grinder could take you less than five minutes, to be honest with you. You're pretty much just throwing everything into a hole and pushing it in. And there you go. It's really that simple. You get the macronutrients that you're looking for. Uh, you're getting the fat, you're getting bones, you're getting muscle, you're getting calcium, you're getting phosphorus. You're getting everything that you're looking for. You got the fat right there, you got the protein, but you also got calcium in the bone, phosphorus, all sorts of minerals coming in, all right? So once you have a grinder, obviously things become a lot easier. The reason that we're gonna be using a grinder today is because our puppies are not four and a half months old. Uh, they just turned eight weeks old. So it complicates things for us because you gotta grind it down, grind the bone down to sand-like in order to give it to them. Otherwise, uh, you can run into trouble. Uh, a bone that's the size of a dime could actually as asphyxiate and kill your puppy. So you gotta be very careful as to when you're gonna be giving bones to your dogs because if you do it at the wrong time, they could be running a risk. So now, the other thing I'm gonna be adding right now is some of the carrots or the vegetables, if you will. We got green beans and carrots. So we're gonna be adding that in there and it's gonna get crushed. And one of the reasons I like to grind it is because it just makes it a lot easier once we mix it at the end. And I'm about to show you this in a minute. You will always have that one puppy that doesn't want to eat it. And so I have found that when you uh, put everything through the grinder, they eat everything that's there pretty much. So there's our mix. We're almost done. Once that's done, then we're going to mix that together. And then with these ingredients you're seeing here, what you're seeing over here is sweet potato. As you can see, we've already um, boiled it and uh, we just made mush out of it. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prepare that here in a second. All right guys, so we're pretty much done. So we got our vegetables and we got our meat there. So real quick, let me, let me just explain something to you guys. Over here uh, with the sweet potato, what I like to do is add my multivitamins to it now you're gonna know if you go to google or chat gps or whatever you go off of one of these generic content creators they're all going to point to the chicken liver i have pointed to the chicken liver in the past because you must give excreting organs uh as part of the barf diet but here's the problem a lot of you have dogs that you think have chicken allergies but in reality, it's all the crap that they're putting in the chicken that ends up right there underneath the skin in the fat layer that when your dogs eat that, they start breaking out and they start coming out with all sorts of things. So the way I'm sidestepping chicken liver is with NuVet Plus. It's as simple as that. This is human grade. I'll go ahead and leave the link below in the description. And pretty much what we're giving them is one teaspoon per puppy we have a total a grand total of six pups right so look we give the pill forms to our bigger dogs we give the powder to our pups because look how easy it is to just mix it in once you mix it in here and they eat it that's it whereas I've noticed that if you give them a tablet, they'll break it. It'll fall on the ground. Another pup could grab it. Now that pup is doubling up on, on um, you know, a uh, new vet. Um, if you have wafers at home, listen, it's not the end of the world. Just crush them. Crush them into, into a powder, and, and that's it. All right, so look, 
we just added the multivitamin. Now, each thing I'm going to add, I'm going to tell you why. So I'm going to go ahead and add cinnamon, right? Now, I've spoken to you guys in the past, a little windy here. I've spoken to you guys in the past about cinnamon and how it lowers blood sugar because the growth hormone in dogs works basically when there is no sugar in the blood. So if the body has to release insulin, the growth hormone will pretty much not be working. Now, we add just a little bit of it. Don't add too much of it. Um, just a touch of it. And the same goes with turmeric. Now, with turmeric, again, man, we just go ahead and just throw a little bit on there. Not too much. Uh, what turmeric does is it's an anti-inflammatory. And so, especially if you're working dogs out, it's really, really good. Because if they get injured or anything like that, it kind of helps them deal with it, especially if they're dealing with pain. The one thing we can't do without. So with the sauerkraut, you already know it's going to be giving your pups probiotics. So we're going to drop some of that in there, especially some of that juice. Okay. And what that's going to do is going to help with the, uh, with the diarrhea. <laughs> uh, basically, we have prepped our pups for the last four days. They've been having sauerkraut in their kibble and we do that on purpose to prepare them so we don't have explosive diarrhea once we feed this to them now lastly the one thing i'm testing out is this right here is called new joint ds now you already know i recommend to always order the new vet plus with the new joint but the ds is for double strength so we got three pups so instead of having to put in all these wafers in there uh, in reality, each one of these wafers is worth uh, the equivalent of two, is what I'm being told. And so, we're just going to go ahead and randomly throw them in there. And we're going to mix it up uh, for all of them. And all this is, is joint support, whereas the green bottle uh, is more for a multivitamin, serves more as a multivitamin. This right here is going to help with joints. Um, I think I have shown you guys in the past how well dogs have improved while they've been on New Joint and New Vet Plus. In fact, I've had people send me in the before and afters. So we got some hungry pups. So now what I got to do is simply mix the meat with the vegetables. Yeah, I know. I know it's a, it's a daunting task. I hear you. But you definitely need to set it this way, uh, mix it, that is, because if you don't mix it, then they're going to be getting disproportionate amounts. So now I just got to mix the, the sweet potato with the ground beef and vegetables, and we're pretty much set. So there's, there's a particular reason why it is that we're mixing the sweet potato with the ground beef. You see, when you give too much protein to a puppy, right, along with fat and other macronutrients, what happens is the puppy's body recognizes that there's an abundance of protein and fat. And the IGF-1, which is the growth hormone, pretty much gets activated and the pup starts growing out of regulation, if you will. You don't want a puppy to just grow, 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 and grow because its soft tissue cannot compensate for the fast growth of bone or muscle that's coming in. The way that you counter that is by giving some sweet potatoes or potatoes or rice together with the ground beef in order to reduce the amount of protein you're giving them. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Well, how do I make my dog muscular? How do I make him big? Listen, there's going to be plenty of time for that. But with medium and large breed dogs, you want them to grow at a steady rate and not too fast because he's going to look great at six months, but by the time that pup grows to... 18 24 months old then you might have caused a dietary east west a dietary high rear all sorts of orthopedic issues all because you overfed the pup so right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour our sweet potato over here i'm telling you man these pups are going crazy they're going to go crazy over this so we got our sweet potato in i know it looked like a lot inside of the bowl but honestly it's, it wasn't that much. All right, fam. So now we're just going to go ahead and mix the ground beef and vegetables into this. 
Now keep in mind, regular barf diet is going to call for 70% of meat, right? Meat protein. And it's also going to call for bone. It's going to call for a certain percentage. Some literature is going to say 15%, others are going to say 10%. Then you're going to have some that are going to say 5% fruit, 5% vegetables. Others that are just going to say 10% vegetables. So either way, a lot of you wanting to know, like, how much do you feed your pup? I suggest you go ahead and weigh your pup. I feed between 5 and 8% their body weight during the day. Now, you can split that into two meals, depending if you want them to gain or want them to lose. What I normally do is I look at the rib cage, and if I see individual ribs, it means I got to add more. If I am seeing a rib cage, but I don't see individual ribs, I'm more than likely where I need to be. And if I can't see rib cages, then I know I need to come down. It's that simple. Uh, sometimes we get stuck on wanting an exact answer. And in reality, there is no exact answer. Mind you, this was a 10 pound bag that we bought at Walmart for what, what, what was it? 470 something up to this point. They have not eaten raw, so this is going to be the first time, you know, trying it out. And so I'm, I'm pretty much excited about that. Okay, so quick recap. So I added cinnamon. In addition to that, we're also adding turmeric. We're doing that as an anti-inflammatory. In addition to that, we added NuVet Plus, which is a multivitamin in replacement of the liver. And we also added new joint plus double strength to help with the joints and it also brings chondroitin and MSM so it could absorb it better. Keep in mind the soft tissue is going to be the number one enemy for medium size and large size breed because they can grow too fast. All right guys so now let's see. Let's see. They don't even know what that is. So now it's going to be interesting to see how they Bam, I could tell you it took me pretty much in total about 30 minutes to do everything, to set it up. If you guys are prepared, trust me, it, it could take a lot less. Oh yeah, they hammering it. They hammer. All right, so let me start answering some questions that I know you're going to ask. A lot of you are going to tell me. I went to my vet. He said, don't feed raw. I'm going to tell you this right now. You're going to have vets that their school of thought is never feed kibble. Usually they're the ones that have that hill science diet up in their shelves. And then you're going to have those vets that totally are on board with kibble. It just is what it is. Um, so please don't, don't come at me. If your vet says don't feed raw, then... I don't know. If you feel that you want to do what he says, then go for it. If he offers you a bag of that Hill Science, please take a look at the ingredients in that uh, bag and compare it to what you just saw us put into this. And then you can figure out what it is that is better for your pup. Look at them. They loving it. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that full belly. Ooh wee. Yeah, fam, so this, this is basically it. It really doesn't get much more complicated than this, to be honest with you. Some of you are already going to be asking about beef allergies or chicken allergies. If it's a chicken allergy, I recommend first take off the skin and see if that works. If it's a beef allergy, then, yeah, you're pretty much stuck on that one. You're just going to have to go a different route. If you're looking for your dogs to gain weight or if you have an adult that you want to muscle up, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link. And just make sure to click on the next video.